my name is Aki. Um, I'm 10 years old and now uh, I am in the exhibition of the Inner Robo and 3D printing in, in Paris. And now you can see, you can see I made an Eiffel Tower and the, and the Tower of Pisa. And above you, a drone. It can't fly, but now uh, we, we, we just shown the frame. Uh, first, the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower um, I got the idea of it because the Eiffel Tower is a very recognized monument or building, and uh, the exhibition is in Paris, so I surely need to make an I uh, Eiffel Tower. And um, it took about uh, it took about two months of part time uh, working and one uh, and two weeks of full time working. Um, it used about 100 meters of ABS and uh, of ABS um, uh, filaments, and yeah, um, it it is pretty big, as you can see, um, and it has only one layer uh, of very um, detailed detail. Okay, that was really good, yeah. And and it has here only one little uh, very fragile skeleton inside. But it's very strong and it has a high amount of detail. Now, next to the Tower of Pisa. Uh, we managed to get it leaning uh, because of these triangles that we positioned in a way that it will keep it leaning. And to keep the whole thing stable, we have here a rock that I, um, that I, um, it's not really a rock, it's a stone that's polished and made, made in a cube uh, that, I, that I won in a, that I won in a, a uh, chess cup, and then in the first place. Yeah. And um, it's like inside this cage of ABS, to, and it, it shifts the center of mass backwards, so the whole thing is very stable. This one does have a very strong skeleton. It has one day of very high detail and and one day of very uh, and one day of very flexible and strong uh, skeleton. And um, it has like these rings. So that amplifies it even better. And on the top, you can um, you can see the top of it, obviously. And the test is located. It took about a week of full-time um, assembling, um, and and that paid off. It used twice as much um, ABS as that one because it used about 200 or more uh, meters. Um, it has about 10 colors. Like half of the amount of colors of that. I got the idea of the Tower of Pisa because it's it's also a pretty po popular monument. And one really funny thing is, we didn't do anything to it like for for like 1,000 years. We didn't do anything to it. And we, we, only the Romans uh, only shifted it a little bit. Uh, and and it was and it was in the time of the Greeks, so it was very old, and we didn't even do anything of it. And that's why it's a pretty popular tourist destination. And now they they they, they uh, probably do these like forced perspective um, pictures. Now they can actually do that. And the same with the Eiffel Tower. It's smaller, so yeah. Uh, now the drone. We wanted to it to be uh, bigger and more and filled with more detail. So we so we changed our uh, our, our original idea from a little sphere with one motor in it to to this cross with a hemisphere on it with eight motors. Uh, it can't fly because it doesn't have a motor, infrared sensor, uh, radio things, and it doesn't do it doesn't have these things. If no batteries, um, it uses four motors that can actually fly, um, and now it's being suspect. It's, it's being sus uh, suspended, suspended, and this. Um, we created the hemisphere by. If I bring this, yes, this is a very simple version of that, but it's still a thing. And uh, th that one has eleven of these what I call leaves, and. Every one of them fits in here, snuggy, and makes a hemisphere. Now we didn't use this this design. We use this. 
We used about seven of them. We used eleven of them, like in a bench shape, to get to to get that hammer. We we, we have these special parts that are actually um, run over uh, a lot of times to make it very strong. Uh, we created these I call legs, um, um, but, and by uh, making a triangle with a half a circle at the bottom to to, uh, to create as less friction as possible and to minimize uh, it touching the ground. Um, and these um, triangles are very strong because um, they are triangles and triangles are very strong by themselves. But we made this grid pattern to make it even stronger and we run over them and that, that, and that makes it even stronger. So the whole thing is very rigid and, uh, and a little bit flexible but the most important thing is it's light and rigid. Yeah, the, the tools that I use for making these all um, are a variety of scissors. No glue to, to, to uh, glue these ABS uh, uh, together because ABS, it, it does actually bond with itself. Like 3D printers, they don't use glue at all. Um, it, they, they stick together with heat. The tools that I use were scissors, a variety of them. You can see here. I used cutters, I used tape, not, again, not to um, bond them together, but, but to hold the paper where, where I just print over that um, to the ground, to, to the table, I mean, and that um, prevents it from curling up. I use a 3D pen, obviously, but, uh, to read all of this. And it's also in here, I have three of them. Uh, this is PLA, but we use ABS. This is ABS. I got a little strand of it, but we have more. It's just a little strand of it. It's here. I, I also use a kilogram of uh, gold filament. It's, it's not really gold, but uh, it's just gold, gold, gold colored um, ABS filament. You can see here that I used a lot of it. The whole skeleton is made out of gold. Um, almost every single little bond is made out of gold. And, thi and this type of gold is very flexible. You can see here, if the camera comes down, camera, camera, you can see here if I poke it, it's very, it's very flexible, but like, it, 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 it keeps, it keeps its shape even when I poke it. And, but still it's very strong. This type of ABS, is, is a little bit less um, flexible, but it is stronger. And yeah, and that was my little presentation. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you later. Uh, bye!